Hey guys, welcome to this week's video where I will try to reverse develop glare dry plates to direct positives. I've did it successfully around a year ago when I was experimenting with reverse development required for autochromes. Back then I used my own emulsion, but this time I would like to use commercially available for my emulsion. Many of you may wonder why would you even develop to direct positive if you can't make reproductions afterwards. Reverse developing has mostly been popular in the uh, industry of moving pictures where film had to be developed to positive in order to be projected. Developing dry plate to a positive has its own charm because you're not just copying the information to another material but instead you're constantly working with the original image. That way you keep the incredible detail and the tonal range of fine grain silver gelatin emulsions. For me, positive photographs on glass are truly sublime, so yeah, without further ado, let's start the process. I will be working with quite a few nasty chemicals, so safety is my number one priority. In order for the emulsion to stick, you really need to clean your glass properly. In that manner, I'm making a simple paste out of dishwashing soap mixed together with calcium carbonate which will take care of all the dirt without scratching the glass. After the plate is rubbed I wash the plate off with some running tap water and place it onto the drying rack for all the water to drain. Before they are completely dry, I finish them off with some paper towels. This is all an experiment, so I will coat the plates differently, some very thin, some very thick, some with using the hardener and some without. I already made a tutorial on how to coat dry plates, you can check the video up here, but coating them thin is a bit different. First of all, I need to make sure that my emulsion is really runny. I will do that by warming it up to around 40 to 50 degrees until it's completely liquefied. And I also need to warm up the plates or the emulsion will just set too quickly. For that purpose, I will use a simple hair dryer with uh, the lights taped. There are different coating methods. Probably the best one is spin coating, where you put a small amount of emulsion on the center of the plate and then just start spinning it. This way centripetal force and surface tension create a very even and thin coating. Downside of this method is that it produces quite a lot of emulsion waste. I will definitely try to do this one day but first I need to build myself an appropriate machine. The easiest way to do it is to just modify an old record player. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me making something like this. Before I show you my technique let's turn off the lights. The method I will be using today is a bit more simple, using a syringe and a hair dryer. First I take the emulsion out from the container and warm it up in a hot water bath until it's completely runny. Then I put the emulsion in the syringe, warm up the plate with a hair dryer and start coating. I try to be as fast as possible so the emulsion stays runny. If the emulsion layer is not thin, the developer just won't reach the glass support and transform silver halides to metallic silver, resulting in a very dark positive. Once the whole plate is covered, I drain off the excess emulsion through one of the corners and place it on a flat cold marble slab to dry. After around 10 hours the plates have dried and I stored them in this box right here. For this experiment I've decided to photograph the darkroom behind me because the light conditions are always constant.
okay so now when I have my exposure I can start the reverse developing process developing to positive is quite similar to developing to negative with a few extra steps first I will develop the plate to negative in the first developer wash bleach wash clear wash re-expose the plate and then redevelop it to positive wash fix and after the final washing I will be done I know this may sound complicated but after coating the plate correctly this is really a piece of cake if you follow all the steps to a T you're gonna end up with a good plate during this development I will explain and work with the steps that work the best for me I had the most success with uh, plates coated very thin without adding any hardener I measure all the chemicals and mix them together temperature of the solutions is uh, 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit Now it's time to switch off the lights again. For the first development I use Koda KC110 Dilution B plus 0.25 grams of sodium theosulfate. Sodium theosulfate also known as hypo will slowly eat away all the unexposed silver to prevent the plate from becoming too dense. Thicker the coating of the emulsion more of the sodium theosulfate will have to be used. I'm gonna be developing for 5 minutes as usual, this is the crucial step of the process that will determine the density of the positive image and the clearness of the highlights. I wash the plate for a minute and proceed with bleaching for 3 minutes agitating continuously. During this step I will remove all the metallic silver that was formed during the first development. I wash the plate for a minute. After that I slide the plate into a clearing solution for 2 minutes, agitating continuously. Clearing solution will remove the yellow stains that were formed in the bleach. Now it's time to turn the lights back on. At this point I will expose all the silver halides that are still left in the emulsion. I wash the plate for a minute. After I'm done re-exposing I keep the lights on and slide the plate in the second developer. This is the most satisfying part. I developed for roughly 3 minutes in Kodak KC 110 Dilution B and enjoyed the magic of positive image appearing on the glass. Again wash for a minute. I fix the image in my preferred fixer for 5 minutes. And wash the plate for one last time in the flowing tap water for 10 minutes. What have I learned after almost 3 weeks of experimenting and over 25 plate shot? I would say that the thicker side of my thinnest plate is my goal. It's nice and translucent with just the right amount of contrast. On the thin side, Hypo just hits away too much of the emulsion resulting in a very thin non contrasty image. If I compare it to a thicker coating, you can see that the coating is much more even but the image is way too dense despite using a lot more sodium theosulfate in the first developer. Like I said, the coating of the emulsion really has to be thin and even, which is really hard to achieve by only using your hands. For now I would say I should not use more than uh, 1.5 milliliters of the emulsion for a 4x5 plate without adding any hardening agent. Also tilting the plate to strain all the excess emulsion is not ideal as it results in a very uneven coating. Next time I can maybe heat up a marble slab in the oven and bring it back into the dark room behind me, level it up and place the glass plate on top. This way the plate will stay nice and warm throughout the coating and when I'm finished I would just slide the plate to a cooler marble slab and uh, let it dry. Secondly, when I will be able to produce evenly coated plates on a regular basis I have to figure out the development process. Actually the only thing I need to get right is the first development as it will determine the density and contrast of the final image. The key I believe is finding the right ratio between how much sodium theosulfate is added to the first developer. Adding too little and the image will be way too dense or adding too much and the image will be way too thin. I would definitely like to get to the bottom of this to the point where I will be able to say okay if I follow all these steps I will be ending up with a great positive image. There is for sure a lot more experimenting that needs to be done, so if anybody watching this has any suggestions or tips, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. And I would like to thank you for watching and see you guys next week. Bye!